Hello, welcome to Feliz Math Tutor. Today I'm going to talk about solving linear systems. We can solve a linear system by graphing or algebraically. So I will show first solving graphing, uh, solving by graphing. We are trying to find all points that gives both equations solution at the same time. So let me remind how we were uh, graphing a linear equation. Let's say we have two equations, purple and red equation, which are 2x minus y equals 7 or 3x plus y equals 3. So let me remind you how we were graphing these two equations. So we should find intercepts first. So x for finding x-intercept on the purple uh, equation, let's say this is x-intercept. So we should put y equals 0 to find x-intercept. So 2x minus y equals 7. 2x minus 0, because we are putting 0 for y, equals 7. 2x equals 7. Then divide both, both sides by 2. So I will get x equal 3.5. Okay. So this is my x-intercept. Okay. Let's say we are finding y-intercept. So finding y-intercept, we should put x equals 0 on the uh, equation. So 2x minus y equals 7, 2, 0, because we are putting 0 for x, equals 7. So negative 1 equals, negative y equals 7. So we can write it like y equals negative 7. So I find um, y-intercept like that. Let's do same uh, same things for the uh, red equation. So y equals 0, 3x plus 0 equals 3, 3x equals 3. So dividing by both sides by 3, we will get x, x equals 1. So this is my x-intercept for my red equation. So let's find x-intercept, oh, excuse me, y-intercept by putting x equals 0. So 3, 0 plus y equals 3. So I'm not writing equation again. I'm putting the x equals 0 on the equation. Then I will get y equals 3 for this equation. Okay, so this is my y-intercept. So as you can see, we find intercepts for these two equations. Let me write them like that. So we find for purple equation, 0, negative 7, and 3.5, and 0 points. For the 3x plus y equals 3, we found um, 0, 3, 3 point and 1, 0 points. So when we put these numbers on the graph, so let me show you, let me show you what where they are. So for this, um, for this red equation here. So we are uh, graphing like 0 through 3 point when x equals 0, y equals 3 here, and 1, 0 point is here, x equals 1, y equals 0. For the purple equation here, so we are graphing like in 0, no, excuse me, 3.5, uh, 3.5, and 0 point here, and here 0, negative 7. So it's already graphed, but I'm showing you how we, we replace them. So uh, 
these two equations uh, these two equations will uh, intersect here in the blue point so this blue point is solution of the system of equations let me write it down solution solution of the system of equation so this uh, this blue point means uh, this will satisfy both of the equation when you put this in the purple equation or red equation it will satisfy so how we can find the blue point it can be read from the graph actually so it is point uh, x equals like you can see from here actually it's like here and here so it is x equal to y equals negative 3 so we can read it from graph so let me uh, show you if it's algebraically satisfies my uh, equations let's say i'm putting it onto my purple equation my purple equation is 2x minus um, y equals 7 so if i put uh, x equals 2 2 multiplied by 2 minus minus 3 is it equal to 7 question mark 4 so this 2 2 minus sign becomes plus so it is equal 7 so it's correct so it satisfies purple equation how about my red equation so my red equation is 3x plus y equals 3 so i will put 3 2 plus negative 3 so is it equal to 3 let's see it's 6 minus 3 is equal 3 so check it's satisfied okay so uh, so we are right our uh, guessing because blue point is x equal 2 and y equals negative 3 so but sometimes it's not easy to read from graph so what we are gonna do if it's not easy to read so we can uh, solve it uh, algebraically but there are two ways for solving algebraically so first way is eliminating a variable by adding equations so i'm gonna work on same equations so it says eliminate a variable by adding equations so i will add these two equations but they have to be in the ax plus by equals c form c form if it's not this form i should adjust it to look like this form since my equations on that form i i don't need to do any changes so i will simply add these equations okay so when i add this uh, 3x and 2x i will get 5x and when i add negative 1 y and positive y i will get 0 so i don't have to write it equals 7 plus 3 is equal 10 so i can divide both sides by 5 to leave it x alone so x equals 2 okay so put this uh, x equal e uh, equal 2 in the any of the equations to find y okay let's say i am choosing 2x my, uh, minus y let me use same color so i'm using purple equation 2x minus y equals 7 since i have x equal uh, 2 i will put in the equation so 2 
2 minus y equals 7. 4 minus y equals 7. So I will put <coughs> negative 4 both sides to leave by y. So negative y equals 3. So I can say y equals negative 3. Okay. So we found uh, 2 and negative 3 as a solution, which is same with the graphically found solution. So again, we can put this point in the any of the equation to check if it's satisfied. So let me write it again. So these are my solution, right? So I found 2, negative 3 point point is solution. So let's say I am putting it in the red equation, which is 3x plus y equals 3. So I'm, I am checking. So this is x and this is y value. Okay, so 3, 2 plus negative 3. So is it equal to 3? Question mark. So 6 minus 3 is equal 3. So it's satisfied. Checked. So I'm I'm pretty sure 2 and negative 3 is my solution. Okay, let's say uh, we are using another method to solving algebraically. Another method is eliminating a variable by substitution. So I'm going to use again same equations to show different method. So first write one of the equation in terms of uh, one variable. Let's say I'm using this red equation. So can I write it like can I write it like um, 3x plus y equals 3. So if I uh, negative 3x from one side, can I put negative 3x on the other side? Yes, I can. So I leave y on the left side and 3 neg minus 3x on the other side. So I find a term. Uh, in term of the another term, yeah, I mean y in terms of x. So I'm gonna put this y value in the uh, other e equation. So I have 2x minus y equals 7. So 2x minus, so I'm gonna use y from the red equation which is 3 minus 3x and equals 7 so this is my y from here let me show from here okay and then i will have 2x minus 3 plus 3x equals 7. So these are 5x minus 3 equals 7. So put plus 3 on the both side. So 5x 5x equals 10. Dividing by 5 both sides, uh, I will get x equals 2. Okay, so what we found x equals 2. So we can put this x on the equation to find y value. So let's say I'm going to use again purple 2x minus y equals 7 purple equation so I'm gonna use 
2. So since I found x equal to, I will use 2 here, minus y equals 7. 4 minus y equals 7. Negative y equals 7 minus 4. Negative y equals 3. So y equals negative 3. Again, we found 2 and negative 3 point as a solution. Okay. So we are working same example from the beginning. So we are pretty sure our solution is 2 and negative 3. Yes. <clears throat> Let me show you uh, what if we have linear inequalities. Let's say my purple equation was 2x minus y less than equals 7, and my red equation is 3x plus y less than equals 3 instead of equalities. So let me say this is my first graph, this is my second graph, and this is my third graph. So it's already graphed here because we know how to graph these linear inequalities from previous videos. Please watch graphing linear inequalities video if you need. So if we know uh, how to graph these two inequalities, we can put them in a one coordinate plane and find the area where two solution sets overlap. So uh, since we know how to graph first and second graphs, so I will put them in a one uh, coordinate plane here. Let's say this is this purple area is for my purple equation. Okay. And this uh, red area is for my red equation. So as we can see, they are overlapping here. Let me use another color, blue. So they are overlapping here in the blue area. So this blue area is my solution set. Okay. This is solution set. Okay. So if you know uh, how to graph two linear inequalities, it's easy to combine them in a one coordinate plane and find their uh, solution. Hopefully uh, it helps. So if you like these videos, please like them. And if you like them, please subscribe it and see you in the next video.